welcome guys and uh, in new tutorial from sketchware gold i am al hafid musa okay uh, this video uh, there's someone on facebook ask me about to do this tutorial so i will do it for arabic people if you don't uh, understand what i said in this video just send me a message uh, for anything okay so thank you so much for your support thank you so much for lot of comments i can't uh, replay for all comments but i see them and i promise you i will make tutorials for all your needs okay whatever you will need i will make a tutorial for this so in this video we will make like this up a simple knot up we will uh, add our knot like uh, gold hello new or whatever you want to add it okay you will add it something more like this okay we added uh, our knot here so uh, let's suppose we close the our application and open it again we will find all our knots save it here let us say that we want to remove something like this hello we will long click will show us this option click on delete and it's delete let we delete maybe this more and if we close the app and open again you will not find them because we deleted so how we can do this in sketchware please uh, subscribe first and follow my steps okay I have uh, here main activity in my, my main activity in main xml i have added uh, edit text to one and button one also i have added uh, list view so let's start with on create in on create i have added uh, this simple code this first code is uh, to give uh, some uh, materials to, to make my button uh, more beautiful okay and this block here is uh, will check if my chart preferences that have a K name not uh, don't have anything if is empty don't do anything but it if it have uh, any data I will convert this data from JSON because I save it my data as as, as, as JSON I will convert it to a list map and show this list map inside this uh, my list view okay so look at uh, like this I will uh, make something for you like this now you can uh, take a screenshot if you were not seen so good take your screenshot okay on button one click first I have get uh, the calendar so first let we create a new calendar from here I will create a new calendar to my application and new shared preferences and new dialog this dialog shared preferences and calendar we will use it so I will use here calendar get now to get the time right uh, now right time you click on the button after that I have created a list map string sorry go here map variable sorry my variable go to variable and uh, add new map variable if you don't know about uh, anything about map variable please uh, watch my uh, previous tutorials in my channel okay I have put two keys inside this map variable first key is text and second key is date in the first key I will get the text from the text one in the second key I get uh, the calendar using this format H H it mean uh, hours minutes and here I get uh, full date day and month and the years here in the last so this is my code after that I use this block after I create new map list 
I get this block here. This block will convert my map to a variable to map string or uh, list map. Sorry, a list map. After that, I will uh, get the data and show it inside uh, list view one. Also, I will save my data from map list uh, as a JSON format. If you don't know about JSON format, please watch another tutorial in my channel also. With a K, not. Okay, in the on by in custom view. But first, I will show you my uh, custom XML. I have here a linear one. Inside linear one, I have linear two and linear three. Here are two images and two text views. That's only what I do. So first, uh, go to your custom view and add that your custom view. After that, go to unbind custom view. Add these uh, two blocks to get design to my uh, linear. It's not something important. You can do it like, like you want. And I use text view one to show the key that the key text and use text view two to check it, to show key date. That's all. All my work is this. One long click. I have used this. First, I have created a new dialog. These buttons inside uh, button one, inside the uh, delete button. I have used this block, delete at position of list map to get the position. Here I use this code to get the position of my not to delete it. After that, I have check if this not is not empty. I remove. Uh, I will not remove. I will add the new JSON format. Okay. Because after I delete this, it will create a new JSON, a new map list. I convert this map list to new JSON string and save it inside this uh, chart preferences as name, not a key, not. And I use this more block ref and toast here on a cancel. I don't do anything. So on refresh, I use only this list view one set custom view data my playlist and uh, list view one and refresh that but all in this tutorial I hope uh, you get it and uh, let me see you in next tutorial good night